way of always starting it off would be dating and then saying, um, hey, could you crack my back and stuff? And have him walk on my back and get into it that way and, you know, and... So you say, let me crack my back and then... Yeah. I mean, I've, um, you know, I've worked out with my girlfriends before and I'll have them say, um, they stand on my stomach while I'm doing crunches and stuff and do it like that, too. And, and just kind of work into it like that. So you're doing crunches, but really you're like, ugh, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah, right there. Okay, what's your ultimate fantasy? Do you have an ultimate fantasy with this? Well, if this I had topic? an ultimate fantasy, it'd be like to have probably the whole Dallas Cowboy Chili stand on me at the same time. Really? Stand on you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, wh when did this start for you? Do you, do you, because I'm not a psychologist by any means, but does it, like, do you feel like you need to be, like, humiliated or given pain uh, no, to you? No, not at all. Not at all. It's, um, it's just, uh, like I said, it's the feeling of the pressure of having the girl on me and, and just, um, I guess you can call it some kind of like a submissiveness to it too. Okay, um, Dr. Z is here back with us. So Dr. Z, um, explain the stand on up with me. Why, why does he want people to step on his face with cowboy boots? Well, actually what it is, it's actually called a trampling fetish. Mm. And it's part of the female supremacy fetish. And different people get imprinted on different activities early on in their childhood. And this is what turns them on. Somewhere in childhood, somebody stepped on him, and this got associated with sexual arousal. Who and stepped on you, Pete? Somebody stepped on you. I have no clue. I mean, I've, uh, I've actually had this thought in my head probably since I was four years old, I would say. It's, it's so ask me very why, hard to trace it back excited. sometimes to a specific incident. Wow. So is, okay, so is there like a stepping website? Like people that like... Oh, there's all kinds trampling. of websites trampling that, trampling for websites. this exact thing, yes. There's a lot, wow. of, a lot of more people into it than you would think. Wow. That's very common. And how often do you get stepped on? Uh, if I can, it'd be a great at once a week. We... <laughs> okay. Anybody want to step on Pete today? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Go on down. Wow. Okay, Pete, uh, why don't you uh, move on over and, and uh, start the process and explain to us... Okay. Explain to us what it is. So you, you lay down somewhere. Yes, so. I do. I will lay around right here. Like okay. Two, four, six. Can you handle all that? And then, but Pete, they have on shoes, so do they, they take them off? They can leave them on if they want. They can take them off if they want. I don't have a problem with either one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, you right here. Yo, let me see you. Yep, come right up here. Yeah, right. Up here. Come on. And so, okay. Pete, somebody's gonna stand yeah. on your face? Yeah, you can, yeah. Yo, get, up, right, get, up, get up on my body, girls, right up here. Cut. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, right. Right. No, I want you to get on my face. You want me to get on your yeah, face? Yeah. <laughs> get up on me, girl. You can get on my hands, too. You can get on my arms. Get right up on my arms. Okay, thank you, Pete. Very nice. Okay, Pete. So, so, um, do you have a girlfriend now? Uh, no, right now I'm actually single. You have, okay, but have you, when you're in a relationship, I, I heard that you, you had a relationship and you, and you didn't tell her, and so you, she found out. How did she find out that you were doing this behind her well, back? Well, because I was doing it with, like, like, at different events and stuff. I was going to fetish events and stuff like that and, and, and perform, you know, doing what I do here. And I didn't want anybody really to know, actually, in my, like, my regular friends, I would call it. And I had came home one time, and um, I was sleeping, and I woke up, and my girlfriend was, like, playing with the heel marks that were in my chest. And she asked me what they were, and I told them they were just nothing. And um, so would that, be considered, would that yeah. be considered cheating? She considered it cheating, and um, she freaked out. I mean, basically, she called me a freak, and then she left. And she's gone now. Oh yes, yes. Wow. So you are in search of a walker. Well, I mean, you know, it's funny is, um, you know, I, I'm, I'll open car kind of doors for girls. I'll, I'll do anything. I'll even go dancing. You know, you put on Casey and the Sunshine Band. I'm ready to go. But I mean, if I mean, when it comes to other things, though, I'd, I'd love to have a woman just walk all over me, and I'd be, I'd be a happy man. Okay, good luck, Pete. We'll be right back. <laughs>